everyone, welcome. My name is Dr. Troy Spurl, CEO of Synapse Center for Health and Healing. Today I'm here to talk about one of the most common questions we get here at Synapse, and that is, what is the difference between mammography and thermography? Should I get a thermography instead of a mammogram, or should I get a mammogram instead of thermography? So we're gonna spend just a few minutes here talking about some of the pros and cons. First of all, I just wanna put out there that they are two completely different tests. One checks for anatomical problems as far as an actual physical mass of a tumor. The other one looks for physiological changes, alterations in the heat and the temperature settings of the breast tissue. So they actually are looking at different things. So the good news is, in the research, of 50 different cancer patients, mammograms were, were able to identify 46 of the cancers. Thermograms were able to identify 44 of the cancers. The ones that thermography missed, mammograms did catch. The ones that mammograms missed, thermography did catch. So a lot of times people will do both of them together. When it comes to the actual cons, let's start with mammograms. So the first thing is um, mammograms, getting them done can be a little bit stressful. So there's a little bit undue stress that is generally experienced with mammograms. And that's because of the other potential side effects of mammograms. We do see that with breast uh, cancer and mammograms, it tends to be over diagnosed. So a lot of times people will go through cancer treatments uh, when they really didn't need to. And we're seeing more and more of that research when it comes to the mammograms themselves. Currently, the research is showing that the use of mammograms has not decreased the incidence of breast cancer. So for us, we still feel it's a little bit late in the development of the cancer to be uh, identifying cancers. If we can get it much, much earlier, that's better. We also see that there's an un, um, a little bit more exposure to radiation that can be unnecessary. And that can cause a lot of problems too, so we want to limit our uh, exposure to radiation. There's an actual uh, compression of the breast tissue as well, and that puts uh, women at higher risk of, of rupturing the tumor and the spread of the cancer cells through the uh, rest of the body. And so it's a little bit more invasive. With thermography, we're looking at uh, temperature readings, so it's non-invasive. And we also look at the entire body. So with thermography, we can get a better sense of the uh, inflammation coming from the teeth, which is actually a hidden source of breast tissue uh, problems. Uh, infection in root canals or inflammation in that area has to flow somewhere down the lymph system. With a full body thermography, you can get a picture of that inflammatory cascade. And actually you can see it quite, quite visibly on the thermogram. The other thing that thermography does is it measures temperature changes. As we start to develop cancer, the first thing it does, it starts to create blood vessels to bring more blood flow to the cancer cell. We can measure that, and so we can actually see cancer develop years and years and years, up to 10 years before it turns into a full-blown size of a tumor or the more problematic breast cancer. So when it comes to the, the pros and cons, uh, we really uh, don't have a lot of cons when it comes to thermography, except for the ones that they do miss, which generally are picked up on by ultrasound or a mammogram again. So if you have a thermography with an ultrasound, it can check a lot of uh, both sides of that uh, picture as far as the anatomical and the physiological. So I hope I helped just a little bit today when it comes to identifying should I get a thermography or a mammogram or both. Uh, we'll also have some written material on our website, so check it out. We can go into a little bit more detail there on the specifics. Thanks, and have a great day.